Hello everybody and welcome to the Whiskey Dictionary. Tonight I'm going to be talking to you about the House Tyrell and the Klein Leash Reserve. Now this is meant to represent House Tyrell and House Tyrell's words are growing strong. So growing strong is indicative at least of the ABV in this whiskey yet, which is at 51.2% ABV. Absolutely nuts, especially considering this is a no age statement. Um, at 51.2% ABV, that's like you don't do that, <laughs> you know? You see that in bourbon sometimes, especially bourbons trying to make a name for themselves. You don't see that in scotch too much. So it's very interesting. Um, I love the Tyrells, right? The Tyrells are, they're, they're conniving, right? But they're plotting and they're, they're conning and they're, or cunning, sorry. And they're, they're everything that makes Game of Thrones like kind of the underbelly of Game of Thrones, interesting. It's, you know, kind of the more secretive reason that people love Littlefinger, right? He's the same way, except a little bit more brazen about some of the, his, his choices. But when a, when a twist comes out, like at the close to the end of season seven, when a twist comes out that you didn't see coming and you found out that the Tyrells were behind it and you think about it, you'll realize that they were actually behind a lot of little things. And, and so when I first went through the Game of Thrones series, I watched the first three seasons and I decided I want to read all the books. So I went back, read all the books, completely tried to avoid as many spoilers as I could um, as I was reading them. And then, uh, you know, a couple more seasons had gone through and I went back, rewatched the whole season. And one thing I noticed was the Tyrells are behind so many little things. And uh, even more so than you would, you would think. But, you know, go read a wiki blog on, on that stuff. I think you'll be interested. Anyway, so Elena, who is the Queen of Thorns, she's the matriarch of the house. Then you obviously have Marjorie, which, nice. 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 And then you have this whiskey. So this is, as I said, 51.2% ABV, no age statement, 100% malted barley. Oh, man. Gotta love it. Let's go ahead and, and nose this along with me, so. <sighs> that is a good nose. This is actually genuinely a good nose, even outside of this, uh, this whole grouping that we've got here, all of the episodes that you've seen so far, I would, you know, kind of stand this up against most normal scotches. So, kind of makes me want to try some more Klein Leash, actually, see what else that their, uh, their, their portfolio is about. So, what I'm getting right away, um, although it's a little bit more subtle than I think I'm going to make it sound, is kind of fruitcake. And by that I don't mean like the thing that you get around Christmas time. I mean like fruit and pound cake kind of mixed together. And it kind of has this like sugary sweetness with a little bit of citrus, a little bit of like an apple-y, um, mixed with like a vanilla kind of light yellow pound cake. So that's what I'm going with. Then throw in some honey just for the heck of it because it's in there. <laughs> um, some of the sugar in there does smell a little bit fake, so I'll give it that as a, as a deduction a little bit, but it doesn't really detract from the smell, so whatever. All right, let's go ahead and give this a taste. Cheers. Hmm. Nice and strong. Very good. It's heavy on the honey, which is yummy. <laughs> and then it's got some of those fruits as well. It's... It doesn't burn, you know, like what a typical high ABV would, or either that or I'm just very used to it at this point. But it does it does take a little while on the finish, which is nice. Um, and by that I mean the, the finish lasts. Um, it's got this sweetness that just kind of permeates your, your, your taste buds and just stays there. It's very nice. Um, it's actually got this surprisingly, or maybe not surprisingly, maybe it has something to do with why they picked the Tyrells. I'm actually tasting a little bit of like a flowery note, which um, is not not super common, um, at least not in my mind. I, I will often see that people taste or smell flowers in their whiskeys. I don't usually get that. In this case, I totally do. So this is one of my favorites. I would say so far it is my favorite of the Game of Thrones. I haven't reviewed the Oven yet, um, but... This is totally worth getting if you can find it at MSRP, which is gonna be between 60 and $70. Here's the problem. This one sold out real fast because of the high ABV. So if you're able to find it, pick it up. If you're not able to find it, do not waste your money on the secondary market here because you're gonna look at spending like $200 on it. So totally not worth it. One thing that's interesting, 
Um, just one more thing about the Tyrells is that they always seem to back the winner, <laughs> except maybe at the end of season seven. Um, but they always seem to back the winner. And in my mind so far, these guys are actually the winner. So they played the long game and apparently turned out pretty well. So thank you for joining me here on the Whiskey Dictionary. I'll see you tomorrow. Cheers.